Welcome. What I want to do is show you how to solve for v in this equation. So when solving for v, the first thing when I look at this is I need to get my variable all the way by itself, what we like to call isolated. And what I notice is I have a v on the left side and also a v on the right side. So it's, it's impossible to solve isolate one variable when you have two variables on two separate sides of the equation. So the first thing I need to do is simplify both sides. And I look at my left side, and this is a simplified expression. I cannot combine like terms. However, on the right side, I have multiplication of 6 times a binomial in uh, parentheses. So I'm going to apply the distributive property to distribute to get rid of my parentheses. So I make sure I multiply the 6 times 6v six and the 6 also times the 4. So therefore, on the left side, it's going to remain the same. And then I'll get 36v plus 24. So now, the next thing I need to do is make sure I get my v's on the same side. And what I always like to do is I always like to get, I always like to get the v's on the same side where it's going to be positive because I don't like dealing with negative numbers. So I notice that I have a positive 7v here and a positive 36v here. If I subtract a 7v on both sides, my v will still be positive on the right side. However, you could also solve for v on the left side by subtracting 36v on both sides. However, then you'd be dealing with um, a negative number, which I don't want to deal with. So I'm going to subtract a 7v on both sides. By doing that, 7v minus 7v is going to become 0v, which is 0. 0 plus negative 5 is just negative 5. And again, I'm using subtraction property of equality. 36v minus 7v is going to be now a positive 29v plus 24. So now, again, to isolate my variable, what I need to do is just use my inverse operations. Undo what's happening to the variable. And the first thing you always want to undo what's happening to the variable is what your variable is being added or subtracted by. So I notice my v is being added to by 24. So I'm going to subtract 24 on both sides using the subtraction property of equality. Therefore, I get a negative 29 equals 29v. Now, to isolate my variable further, since my variable is being multiplied by 29, I need to divide by 29. So I'm going to divide by 29 on both sides using the division property of equality. Negative 29 divided by 29 equals negative 1. And 29 divided by 29 is 1. 1 times v is v. So therefore, I have now isolated my variable where negative 1 equals v. And a lot of times, we just like to switch that around. So therefore, I can say v equals negative 1. Now, I can plug in negative 1 in for, in for v in my original equation and simplify and make sure my equation is equal to each other. But to keep, keep this video kind of short for you, um, that's going to be your final value. There you go. Thanks again for watching. Bye.